Before Stanford White became the most famous architect of New York City, he was known for hosting the most amazing parades. So they hired a very young Stanford White to make the parade for the anniversary of the inauguration of George Washington, who was the very first president of the US. And he built a wooden version. The parade was so popular that the public demanded Stanford White to build a permanent and now we have this beautiful marble arc standing here. In 1917, a group of artists, Marcel Duchamp, John Sloan, and Gertrude Drick, used this door to sneak all the way to the top to have an all night picnic and drank tea and lots of alcohol and even declared that Greenwich Village was its own country. They were caught and then after that, they started locking the door. On a typical weekend during the 50s and 60s, you would see thousands of musicians playing all around the fountain. It was the hottest spot to be in New York City during that time. In the very north western section of Washington Square Park is the oldest tree in all of Manhattan. This tree has been standing for over 400 years. It's also known as Hangman's Elm because according to legend, people used to be hung right on the branches of this tree. And just imagine what this tree has seen from the Lenape to the Dutch arriving, to the British taking over New Amsterdam, to the American Declaration of Independence, through all the way through the crazy era of the 50s and 60s where folk music really stirred up here in the Greenwich Village all until now. That's insane to think about.